So normally I don't do videos um, showing myself uh, in it. However, today I felt compelled to do so. Uh, the reason being is uh, I found out today that the city of Manchester evicted uh, all the homeless from their encampments. Um, yesterday I went out to a couple of the encampments um, and you know nobody was home uh, they were probably all out flying their signs but I took a chance figured I'd go down there and uh, you know try to give them some water it was pretty hot uh, this past week um, and you know the spots that I went to were just covered in trees um, today I went out uh, it's Monday uh, August 1st um, and I, I'm usually out on the streets about 12 o'clock till 6 o'clock uh, in the evening and I found hardly anybody um, let me let me rephrase that I found a lot of people however they were all in large large groups um, but not in the typical places that I would find them um, usually like Victory Park uh, in Manchester which is over by the library um, there's quite a few of them all there and I never stopped there um, you know the reason being is I, I don't have enough supply to supply you know 30 60 people however many people happen to be there uh, so I tend to find smaller groups I usually don't um, help out groups above five people and it's not because I don't want to I just I don't have the supply to take care of them and I don't want them to get mad at me and I don't want them to fight each other over stuff that they get um, so I tend to find smaller groups you know groups of five or under and um, will help them out uh, but that wasn't the case today um, I went out yesterday Sunday which was July 31st um, and went to a couple of the encampments and uh, nobody was home they must have all been out flying their signs or walking around or doing whatever they do um, but anyways I was I was there it was in wooded area and all that stuff uh, today I went out it's Monday August 1st and um, I couldn't find hardly anybody um, you know typically I'll find people you know sleeping on the sidewalks or flying their signs or hanging out in some of the parks or you know walking around I didn't really see that too much today um, what I did see was large groups of homeless um, people in areas they typically are not so I went down to the homeless encampment that I that I visited the night before and where there were trees and camps there were no trees and there was no camps uh, there were city workers there uh, they had cut down everything I mean when I say everything like when I pulled up to the spot I almost didn't even recognize it you know I, I was kind of like am I in the right spot and yeah I was in the right spot um, it breaks my heart because these people have nowhere to go and uh, you know I know that everything that they own was chances are it was probably picked up and thrown out and now they have nothing they don't have um, a spot to sleep um, and it just it, it breaks my heart to, to know that these people are now out there they're not not only do they ha not have a house to live in uh, but now they no longer have a spot to sleep at and a lot of you are going to comment and say well you know these are dirty disgusting people and trust me I've seen some pretty nasty comments on my videos and uh, you know it, it just it boggles my mind that people can turn their backs on other people like this they're they're houseless we're no better than they are um, they just happen to not have a house to go to you might say well you know they're all junkies they're all scumbags you know they're they're men in their 20s and 30s well you know what you're judging people before you even get to know them I'm gonna tell you right now the one of the number one reasons why people end up on the streets is lack of affordable living there are many people out there right now who are one paycheck away from ending up on the streets you know and uh, some of these people they don't have family they don't have friends so if they end up in a situation where they get COVID and they're out of work for a week now they're a week behind on paychecks uh, they can't afford to pay their electric bill and uh, you know what are you gonna do you're gonna you're gonna weigh out the options do I pay rent or do I pay electric right so you you pay your electric bill I mean uh, I'm excuse me you pay your rent 
Now your electricity is off, and in any rental contract, it says that all your utilities must be on. They must be active. And the landlord finds out that you're living in your apartment with no electricity, um, you get evicted. So you end up out on the street sleeping in your car, and you know before you know it, uh, your car gets towed because it's in the wrong spot, you know, and all your stuff is in it, uh, including your IDs. You know, and once that happens, that's it. It's game over. It's game over. You're just you're you're, you're SOL. You know, and I call it falling off a cliff. You know, it's it's like falling off a cliff because once you reach that point, it is so unbelievably hard to climb back out. And those of you out there that have no compassion, you want to sit there and point your finger and say they're all junkies and they're all trash. You're heartless. Uh, just about every single one of them that I have met out there is a kind soul. Um, I think I maybe met one that wasn't so kind, but even then, uh, they weren't a bad person. Uh, they're misunderstood, you know, and we turn our backs on them as a society. We turn our backs on these people, and what are they supposed to do? You know, they, they have nowhere to go. They have no one to fall back on. Yes, some of them are drug addicts. Yes, some of those drug addicts are happy being drug addicts and living out on the streets. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Just because they are on the streets from using drugs does not mean that they don't deserve love, that they don't deserve compassion, and they don't deserve respect. If you've ever been addicted to anything at all, you know the mindset. You know when you're in that mindset, that's all you think about, you know? And if we turn our backs on people like that, uh, we've failed. We've, we've failed. We've failed to provide uh, ways out for them. And some of you guys are going to say, oh, well, well, there are, there are plenty of resources for people to get clean. Sure, um, but not all those resources work for everybody. I'll say that again. Not all those resources work for every individual. Okay? People end up out on the streets for many, many reasons. One of them is lack of affordable living, like I just said. Some of it is due to domestic violence. Okay? Domestic violence, you can end up out on the streets, um, and for most of them, in most cases, the shelters are even more dangerous for them. Um, some of them are due to mental illness. So you see a young 25-year-old man sitting out on the side of the road, uh, flying a sign, trying to get a few bucks. Um, don't automatically decide that they're a drug addict. That guy might just not be able to work because he's got a mental illness. Um, and no family to help them out. A lot of people are disabled, older folks. Um, you know, and Social Security just ain't cutting it for them anymore. Uh, you know, with the prices of apartments and all that stuff. I mean, a one-bedroom apartment in Manchester is over 1,200 bucks. Uh, you know, and if you if you're bringing in, you know, a thousand dollars a month on Social Security, I mean, how does that add up? It just doesn't add up. But as soon as they end up on the streets, you want to point your finger at them and say that they're scumbags, they're trash. It just blows my mind. I mean, I you know I, I hear stories about the police here in the city cutting up tents. I mean, how can you do that? How can you destroy somebody's home? Somebody that's already down and out and has almost nothing, and then you go and take the little that they have away from them. Anyway, I... Uh, I had a hard time finding people today, and those that I did find were in groups of 30 or more. Um, I saw plenty of them walking down the streets, uh, not in groups of 30, but in the parks there was groups of 30 or more. Uh, but there would be like 10, 10 or so walking down the street with their suitcases, uh, with their carts and stuff. And again, like I said, I, uh, I, you know, I can't take care of them. I, I can't pull over and take care of 10 people at one time. I may not have the supply to do that and I, I don't want to cause any problems. Um, so that is why, that is the purpose for this video uh, today, um, as it's not my typical video. And this will probably be the last, if not the last, it'll be very few that you will see my face in a video uh, because again, it's, it's about them. Um, you know, I, I go out there to spread awareness, uh, you know, for people to help, to inspire people to help. Um, 
I don't necessarily mean I, you know, people should go out there and do exactly what I'm doing, but donate, you know, not just, you, I'm not asking for donations. That, that's not what I'm saying, but, you know, donate to your homeless shelters. Um, I know I just said, you know, homeless shelters are, are bad in, in a sense for certain people, but they're still a good resource. They're, 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 uh, they're good. I, I don't want to say at all that homeless shelters are bad, uh, soup kitchens are bad or anything like that, but these places, they need our help. Uh, you know, donate to them. Um, donate to your local church. You know, uh, donate to homeless outreach programs um, in your city. Um, these people need help. You know, and yeah, I just I don't know what else to say. Um, so again, uh, this is the reason for this video. I will be back out Friday. Um, hopefully, I can find some of them again and uh, help them out since they probably have nothing and uh, you know that's it I guess uh, I guess I'll see you then